Okay, I've got my big pulley on there. Let's just fire it up and see what happens. Last week I walked you through the construction of the slot cutting milling machine. It's, it's a milling machine that has one task and that is to cut a slot in a piece of tubing like this. And this week you're going to get to see it work and what I'm going to use that slotted tubing for. Rather than keep you in suspense any longer, I'll just tell you. It's for this. It's a tool I make called the clamp maker. What it does is it makes clamps from wire. Uh, now there are other tools out there that work on a similar principle of operation. I don't know who came first. I think I did. I made my first one in 1995. I was inspired by a guy I saw using a long pole with a slotted end to uh, tighten a bundle of stuff together with rope. So now you're going to see version 2 of the clamp making machine and, and how it works. I'll show you how to make a clamp maker so you can make one for yourself if you so desire or maybe you'll just buy one from me. You may recall from last week that the workpiece holder has this roll pin in it to locate the stock in the same place every time. So the first thing we need to do is prepare the stock by putting a hole in it. To become the clamp maker, this slotted tube needs a couple of parts. One of which is a piece of stainless steel threaded rod with a hole drilled in it. So next thing is we're going to have to drill a hole in the end of that to accept a roll pin. So I've constructed another jig for that purpose. This is a piece of stainless steel tubing that I've put a hole in it and uh, we'll just put the stainless steel rod in to the end and then uh, there's a hole in there we'll just drill through that hole. And there's the hole. That thing works pretty well. One other thing the clamp maker needs is a nose cone, a uh, kind of a fork on the end of it to uh, hold the wire that it makes the clamp out of. And uh, here I've dedicated this uh, cheap little cutoff we machine to uh, that one purpose of cutting a slot in the end of that. And there's my little nose cone. All that's left now is to assemble it and then I can show you how it works. We'll begin by installing this roll pin to host, hold the nose cone in. Okay, now that's nice and secure. Now, <clears throat> we'll put the long roll pin in, the threaded part. Alright, put the wing nut on the end. And there we have a clamp maker. Now let me show you how it works. Let's say you have something like a broken broom handle. You fit it back together as best you can. You take yourself a piece of wire and you make a loop out of it. You wrap that loop around the brake. You run the two ends of the wire through the loop. You put the nose cone onto the loop of the wire and then you wrap the two loose ends around the roll pin. Then you tighten with the wing nut. Now this, this will produce way more force than you can get by twisting the wire. Then 
fold over. And what you have is very tight. Here, we'll clip off the excess. And since this is a pretty long break, we'll put another one over here. And that, my friends, is the clamp maker. And fixing broom handles is only the beginning of what it can do. The only limit is your imagination. I've used it to hang signs on steel poles. I've used it to mend fences. Even the antique horn on my Schwinn Twin Tandem is held on with wire clamp made by the clamp maker. And you might be wondering, why did I build that complicated machine and those fixtures and modify that chop saw just to build this clamp maker? Well, the reason is, it's my intent to build hundreds of clamp makers, not just one. By adding some limit switches, I should be able to completely automate the machine. So all I have to do is put the stock in and, and flip one switch. Then it'll make the cut and back itself off the cutter blade and stop. So I have a good proof of concept here and only a couple of bugs to work out on the machine. I should be cranking out clamp makers here in a few short weeks. And you can look for that debut right here on this channel, on Instagram at wildman.tech and at clampmaker.com. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd really like to hear your thoughts and opinions on this tool. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.